can rely, UW Research Professor of Bioengineering, says the malaria parasite plasmodium appears to lose vigor and can die when exposed to oscillating magnetic fields, which Lai thinks may cause tiny iron-containing particles inside the parasite to move in ways that damage the organism. If further studies confirm our findings and their application in animals and people, this would be an inexpensive and simple way to treat a disease that affects 500 million people every year, almost all in third world countries, Life said. According to the World Health Organization, as many as 2.7 million people die of malaria every year. Approximately 1 million of those are children. A researcher discovered that the malaria parasite is weakened when exposed to a changing magnetic field. It is thought that the parasite which ingests seam slash iron has it, bowels, ruptured when the changing magnetic field causes the stored slash ingested in crystals to be shaken about. The crude analogy is if you swallow iron nail or bolt and then have a magnetic field applied to you that iron item is going to be shaken about and if it is in your bowels and ruptured the iron starts to poison you. I quote from the research paper, the researchers proposed that this may occur because the applied magnetic field prevents imozoin from being formed and free heme is free in the body of the parasite. Conversely, they suggest that it is possible that the alternating magnetic field rotates the entire hemozoin crystal causing mechanical damage to the late-stage parasites. Large amounts of iron is toxic to humans and causes organ failure. Dot witness an iron nail and how quickly it rusts in salty water. Dot the human body is full of salty electrolytes. Then in 2011 a follow-up experiment was done by Mary Thompson, Department of Physics, Case Western Reserve University Drive Robert Brown, Department of Physics, Case Western Reserve University Drive Brian Grimberg, Center for Global Health and Disease, CWRU School of Medicine they published an 18-page experiment report. It seems that a 2008 patent did more experiments. They found that the magnetic field frequencies of 9 to 15 and 1000 to 1015 work both work. It occurs to me to replace the shiny, very expensive looking frame with two electric blankets. One blanket would be underneath the patient and the other above. Each blanket would contain a Helmholtz coil wound in opposite directions and powered by mains current which is at a frequency of 50 or 60 Hz. Normal electric blankets are designed for heat and contain grid of wires for heating and are plugged into the mains. In this malaria treatment the electric blankets would contain coils that had Helmholtz coils and designed to generate an oscillating magnetic field and powered by the mains. The top and bottom blankets would generate magnetic fields in opposite directions or be in the antiphase. Helmholtz coils are just flat pancake-shaped coils used to generate magnetic fields. Not looking good images. The beauty of this approach is you can make these very cheaply and any size. Not you could roll them. Not they are flexible, comma they are portable and rugged, just like electric blankets. Just imagine a 20 patient's line between 20 meter long blankets or one patient between 1 meter long blankets for an hour. Dot they could even go to sleep or have a nap. Dot each electric blanket would contain a Helmholtz coil wound in opposite directions. The question is how we get black scientists to look into this or take a protein role. Not most of the lack forums seem to be full of the terminally brain dead going on and on about drugs, comma, BLing, comma, drugs, comma, hose, comma, etc.
Anyone know who to forward this on to intelligent blacks or know of any intelligent blacks in university who can think outside the box and are not obsessed with rap music, comma, dealing both comma, yelling and turning girls into single mothers and can understand simple science? See more at http colon slash slash www.abovetopsecret.com slash forum slash thread 1,002,625 slash page number sign pid 17,912,354. Henry Lai.